AP, like, that might be the thing that makes a difference between winning, like, a fight or losing a fight. Just Baron. And that's why it's so important late game. Of course, after, like, 50 minutes or an hour, Baron doesn't make that big of a difference because it's, it's minimal damage, quote-unquote. Because everyone already has their full items, and just Baron doesn't really help too much. Because Baron doesn't give straight up HP, and like people die instantaneously at endgame because everyone de deals so much damage that that extra health region isn't going to help at all with Baron. <clears throat> I'm just gonna, I'm just farming as like mad. You notice that I bought a Void Staff uh, because they have so much MR. Look at that, they have an Aegis. If you're playing Cat <clears throat> and the enemy took an Aegis, you're probably, you should probably get a Void Staff. They're going to have a ton of MR. A ton, a ton of MR. Like, even though this Kassadin and this Ezreal, well, this Ezreal has some MR. Even though they have, don't really have too much MR, that Aegis is going to, like, it gives 50 magic resist. That's, like, them having magic resist or any magic resist <coughs> is enough to make Cat almost, like, really weak. So you have to get a Void Staff. Look at that Cannon. Look at that Ezreal. He has 114 magic resist. 114. Oh, look. We just caught Pobelter. Yeah, you, you see, you should have seen what I did there. I shimbled onto a teammate and then I gumbladed him. 50% slow for 3 seconds. Excellent. We caught Pobelter. Yeah, we caught Pobelter. Caught Pobelter. You're not... Oh, I just... You're not going... In. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, bro. <laughs> Good old. I guess he was really panicking or something. I don't know. He panicked really hard and failed that. But yeah, Popelta got caught, and that's another reason why you get a Hextech Gumblade instead of a Rylice. Like that 50% slow gave us enough time to put him to 50 h 50% of his HP, which was more than enough for him for us to take him out as a team. You know, this year um, I went after Tarek because I wanted him to commit. I wanted to take him out. I don't want to risk anyone being alive. So even though I took a bunch of damage, it was definitely worth it in them because they don't have a team. They don't have a. They don't have anyone to help them anymore. This gameplay is really stupid. You okay? If you ever like dive a turret like this, you always always have to watch your HP. Like, look at me. I'm watching my HP. I know when to get out. Yeah. Look, see that? Oh, get raped. Oh. <laughs> He's not gonna catch us. I have Gunblade up, but yeah, that's the power of Gunblade. Gunblade gives you a six, is a six hundred range, three, uh, fifty percent slow for three seconds. <laughs> is a so, basically, it gives me a longer range than Shimpo Bouncing Blades would, would, and it gives a longer slow. Rallys gives a one point five second slow, and that's like thirty five percent slow. Gunblade gives a 50% slow for double the amount of time that Rallys does. And it was because of that that we were able to win that team fight. I'm positive, I guarantee you, that if I had Rallys, we would not have been able to kill Renekton. Because he is Baron. And we wouldn't have been able to take him out that much HP because it was a 1.5 seconds slow. And he probably would have healed it up or whatever with his Baron. So that's that's why you get Gunblade over... Over... Rylice. And some of you guys might be like, I then let's just, why don't you just get a Gunblade and a Rylice? Well, first of all, slows don't stack. So if you get Gunblade and get Rylice, you're not going to slow them any more than you already are with the Gunblade. And second of all, Rylice does slow people and make your ult more, like, quote unquote, viable. But the problem with uh, Kaz's ult in the first place isn't because people are. Like, can just walk out of her ult. The problem with her ult is that people CC her, or they just flash out of her ult. And uh, a slow for my eyes isn't gonna help make her ult deal any more damage or last any longer than it should be. In fact, actually, because my eyes only gives 80 AP compared to an hourglass or a hat, you could be dealing a lot more damage from like three daggers in a cat ult than you would be with five daggers with a Rylize because of the difference in AP. It's a lot more effective if you just buy anything else aside from Rallys, you know. Like, I don't understand why people keep getting Rallys. It's, it's a pointless item on Cat. It's not worth the money. <sighs> well, there's nothing much I can talk about, so I guess I'll keep complaining. But the reason why Rallys is such a good item on 
Akali or other like mage champions like that is because they deal consistent magic damage. They can like perma slow you because they're they keep dealing so much magic damage. Cat is the epitome of burst. She E's, she Q's, she ults, and she's done. She can't do anything else until someone dies. There's no point in getting a Rylize if you're just gonna deal like damage in two seconds and not be able to slow anymore after that because all your skills are on cooldown. So another reason why not to get Rylize, you you don't get a perma slow like other mages do. And on top of that, Akali already deals a ton of damage, so there's like <clears throat> Akali already deals a ton of damage, so getting any more damage isn't not pointless pointless, but because of how much damage she can really deal, that extra slow just only helps her. It's only gonna help her. Anyways, enough chit chat. Um we're back. We're back. We took out both of their turrets and their inhibitor, and our inhib is up. We're back in the game. We're in a great position right now. But Baron's up, and so this might be the final fight. Whoever takes this Baron might win the game. So we need wards all over the place. I have a ward. I'm ready to pop it down. Pop that shit down. We're going to push mid. Our, since we have super creep, because their inhibitor's down, we have the advantage in mid. <clears throat> we have mid advantage. Oh, snap. I need to go help. Oh, jeez. Oh! Ult everywhere. <sighs> I'm really late to the party, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that I'm late. Doesn't matter. Because it's me. It's me, guys. Oh! Oh, okay, that was just dumb of me. I should have popped my R glass. I was tunnel vision. I hope most of you guys know what tunnel vision means, but tunnel. I was tunnel visioned on Ezreal and Tariq, and I didn't. I didn't pay attention to Kassadin. I should have paid attention to Kassadin. The moment he jumped out, I would have hourglassed and negated any damage he would have dealt to me. So I was being stupid. <clears throat> Tunnel visioned. But luckily, Triss is fed now. Fed as, like, crazy fed. So, easy kills. Easy kills. And I guess... Oh! That would happen. I, yeah, this is a one game. We won the game. It's gonna take too long for them to come up. And Trist, deal Trist and Gameplank are the main tower killers in this game. So we're gonna take out this turret and win the game. GG. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys want to see more, please subscribe and like my videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, um, a friend of mine made a Katarina guide with my permission, and it is based after my Katarina since I don't like writing guides. Uh, he wrote it for me. I'll put the link to it in my comment section not comment section information section below and yeah just go check it out I'll see you guys see you guys next time thanks for watching